Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Ayman bin Abdurrahman, presented on Monday the government's action plan to the members of the National People's Assembly during a plenary session, chaired by Ibrahim Bougali. The plan focuses mainly on the initiation of structural reforms intended to revive the national economy and modernize the banking and financial system. It was adopted on August the 30th by the Council of Ministers. This action plan is made up of five chapters, namely the consolidation of the rule of law and the restoration of governance, economic recovery and renewal, human development and a strengthened social policy, a dynamic and proactive foreign policy, as well as the strengthening of national security and defense. This action plan is intended to be the guideline which the actions of the government will be based on. It took into account the operational aspect of its implementation with ranking of the priorities according to the requirements of the country's current situation and it will guide the government in moving forward in achieving its objectives and commitments within the framework of the building of the new Algeria. The government I am leading is determined to work to build a new Algeria in line with the aspirations of the Algerian people, who never stopped pleading for a sovereign rule of law while aspiring to a modern and transparent economic governance. This approach aims at restoring the confidence of the Algerian people in the state institutions and make it regain its role as a partner contributing to the emergence of democratic political practices. The government will strive to consolidate the pillars of economic recovery through a comprehensive reform and modernization of the banking and financial system, strengthen its contribution to the development of the national economy, improve its governance, promote professionalism and modernize the banking and insurance network. The government intends to open 30 new bank branches every year, public and private, and increase the number of insurance agencies by 5% per year, in addition to providing 1 million businesses with electronic payment terminals, the TPEs, by 2024. Efforts will also be stepped up in order to remedy to the excessive money cash supply in circulation in the informal sector. The government, through its social policy, is committed to strengthen the purchasing power of citizens and to guarantee the promotion and improvement of the social support of vulnerable categories, especially by the completion of the single social register project. The actions of the government plan are aimed at the protection and well-being of people with specific needs, the elderly, children and adolescents, and the family and women. The government will strive to enforce the President of the Republic's decision relating to the establishment of an un unemployment allowance which will be intended for the unemployed who are first-time job seekers and without income. The National Employment Agency will be responsible for managing the new system. The preservation and consolidation of the social security and pension system are listed as priority actions of the government which will initiate discussions on the creation of a supplementary retirement branch to improve the purchasing power of pensioners and contribute to the recovery of the financial balances of the retirement branch. The government will also undertake the stepping up of the development of the housing sector by mobilizing and directing financial resources more effectively by creating a housing bank and an urban land management organization while pursuing the total eradication of slums. The government intends to deliver more than 579,500 housing units to be distributed between 2021 and 2024. These housing units will be built under the President of the Republic's new program for the building of one million housing units with the purpose of improving the housing occupancy rate which we hope to increase to 4.18 people per housing unit by 2024. The members of the National People's Assembly insisted during the debate on the government's action plan on the importance of the actual implementing of the commitments provided for in the action plan by providing for the appropriate conditions to implement a comprehensive national development. Several members praised this ambitious plan as it was presented by Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman, 
who covered all chapters relating to sectors that the state intends to develop further with the main objective of improving the living conditions of citizens by bringing health care closer to citizens, solving the water shortages problems, in addition to moving towards deep educational reforms without leaving out the development of the highlands and the great Algerian south. We have some reservations regarding this action plan. Certain amendments should be introduced. We would like certain points to be amended and above all, ask for its application in the field. He tackled the true problems on all levels that matter for citizens and solving them is crucial to come out of the country's current crisis. But solutions could be found under the government action plan as it is intended to that end and what remains to be done is its actual implementation. The government action plan that was presented this morning and fully explaining and understanding it will require several days, but for now we will manage with its overview. In my opinion, this action plan is rather well developed, but what I would really like to see is its implementation in the field, especially as it is a very good program and it targets several mechanisms in several sectors. Debates about the government's action plan were fruitful and the members of parliament are looking forward to the implementation in the field of the measures adopted therein too, as they will spearhead the development, among others, of the sectors of agriculture, fishing, higher education and vocational training. Ayman bin Abdurrahman also spoke of the opening by the next school year of the National School of Mathematics and the one dedicated to artificial intelligence. Following instructions issued by the President of the Republic, Abdelmajid Tabun, and after consulting with the Scientific Committee for the monitoring and follow-up of the COVID-19 pandemic, Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman decided to extend, first, the current partial home confinement measures implemented to ensure the ongoing management of the COVID-19 pandemic for 15 more days, with changed hours from 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. the next day. This will be applicable to the following 31 provinces. Laghwat, Mlubwagi, Batna, Bjaya, Bishar, Blida, Bwira, Tbissa, Tlemcen, Tizi Wuzu, Algiers, Jijil, Stif, Saida, Sidi Bil Abbas, Annaba, Galma, Constantine, Mustaganem, Msila, Wurgla, Oran, El Bayyid, Bumerdas, El Wad. Khenshla, Soga Haras, Naama, Ainti Mushant, and Relizan. Second, the following venues will be allowed to reopen used vehicle markets, sports halls, youth centers, cultural centers, and libraries. In terms of public gatherings, the prohibition measure is maintained across the national territory for all types of gatherings of people and families, in particular the celebration of weddings and circumcisions and other events. The enforcement of the measure relating to the final withdrawal of authorization to pursue business is maintained for the activity of wedding halls that violate the ban in force. 233 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 18 deaths were announced on September 13th by the Ministry of Health in a press release. In terms of treatment, 198 patients recovered. The Ministry of Health also called the need to observe healthy measures and respect social distancing. The Chief of Staff of the National People's Army, Lieutenant General Saish Ngreha, presided over this Monday, September 13, 2021, at the headquarters of the Ministry of National Defense, a ceremony in honor of the members of the National Military Team's Airborne Section and Sinotechnics, who participated in the 7th edition of the International Military Games, which took place in Russia and Algeria from August 22nd to September 4, 2021. The ceremony was attended by the Secretary General of the Ministry of National Defense, the Commanders of Forces and National Gendarmerie, the Commander of the 1st Military Region, the Controller General of the Army, the Heads of Departments, as well as Central Directors and Heads of Services of the Ministry of National Defense and the AMP General Staff. 
During this ceremony, the Chief of Staff delivered a speech in which he underlined that he wanted to personally preside over this symbolic ceremony. <laughs> I wanted to be present among you today to preside over this symbolic ceremony organized in honor of the members of the national military teams to highlight the confidence of the high command of the National People's Army in your capacities and your firm determination, which comes from your love to the country and your permanent concern to honor it in the world events. Indeed, you are two young teams, loyal to the army and the motherland, and it is this sense of national duty that you are constantly striven to instill in the personnel of the AMP, where the heir of the National Liberation Army, all categories included. On this occasion, the Lieutenant General addressed to those who were present his warmest congratulations for the sustained efforts they made during this international military competition, urging them to show integrity and loyalty to their motherland and to go forward to achieve better results and meet the expectations of national army, both nationally and internationally. Finally, the Chief of Staff urged all the athletes to keep displaying the same lofty qualities as well as to hoist the national flag in such world major sporting events as it was the previous mega contests. The revision of the electoral lists is in full swing as it is coming to a close. In the western province of Oran, citizens keep heading to the local authorities to enroll themselves amid the most favorable conditions likely to ensure the success of the upcoming electoral events. Kamel from Bijaya province has decided for the first time to have a say in the national elections. Thus, he has enrolled himself at the level of Bijaya municipality, hoping for a brighter future via honest and competent local representatives. The local authorities, along with the National Election Authority delegates, are racing against the clock to ensure the success of these elections, the ultimate phase in building Algeria's constitutional institutions. 16 people involved in the wildfires that ravaged last month several provinces were arrested in Tizi Uzu and Bijaya. According to a communique issued by the National Gendarmerie, all the arrested people were members of the MAK terrorist movement and they will be brought before the Sidi Mohammed Court of Justice. The investigations proved the involvement of some of the arrested in the assassination of Jamal bin Smail, a founding member of the earlier mentioned movement, in addition to a journalist, were linked with it, according to the same communique. <laughs>